Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, August 24th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we did get to the base, the all time highs today. Got to the top of the bull in Japan and are trading at 4,485 at this current stage. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is turning around, it's still bearish. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. We should see, uh, could expect a pullback before going higher here, but this seemed like it was the bottom. So I'm expecting something similar to this. Hit the bottom of the 50 moving average, rally up towards the top, then gradually grind back towards the, the middle of the bullish band before continuing higher. Usually August and especially September is not very good for indices and stocks and so on. So I do not expect a massive rally here. If we do rally like we did last year, we saw it basically here, got way outside of the bullish band and then crashed roughly at 10% in the beginning of September. That is kind of what I would expect if we were to get a similar rally as, uh, as last year. But otherwise, uh, 4,500, that should be quite a lot of resistance there and do expect this to pull back a bit before going higher. If we break 4,500, then 4,600 and probably up towards 5,000 in the long run. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is at the 35,380 at this current stage, um, approaching at the top of the Bollinger Band. Same goes for the MACD, MACD as in the... As a, um, S&P 500, it is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. Definitely momentum to the upside. There's quite a lot of room up towards uh, roughly uh, 300 points before we get towards the all-time highs. If we were to break down from here, 50 move, 20 exponential moving average, and the 50 moving average should offer quite a lot of support. Breaking above here, then 36,000 should be the target for the Dow Jones. So let's look at the NASDAQ. Sorry. So NASDAQ, we've got uh, very overstretched at this point. So pullback should be expected. Trading at 15,328. Very, very good day for NASDAQ. Up 1.30% uh, uh, at this current stage. MACD is, looks like it's going to cross the signal line. And we haven't really crossed the signal line for quite some time. Basically, at the end of uh, July, we have to go until we basically see the... the crossing here and even then it basically broke down again but as we are very overstretched uh, here in the bullish band i do expect a pullback towards the 20 exponential before continuing higher um, otherwise stochastic is bullish and the rsi is also bullish and there's a little room to the upside before this becomes overbought so let's look at the german dax so European uh, indices, stocks in general, did not have as a uh, bullish day today as uh, we saw in the United States. So this did rally up towards 15,940 before basically breaking down and giving most uh, of those gains back. So at this point, we're basically in the middle of nowhere. We could drop towards uh, the bottom of the bullish band or rally to the very top here at 16,000. Uh, technical indicators, they are favoring the downside. MACD is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. Stochastic is bearish. And RSI is flat at this point. So kind of just a waiting game uh, to see where this goes. So let's look at the, so let's look at the FTSE 100. So very similar here. It did rally up towards the 7,145 before giving all of those gains back. Ended up in red, and at this point, kind of looks like we're going to test the 50 moving average uh, yet again. If that breaks, then 7,000, that basically should be the floor. If that breaks, then we'll go and test these previous lows here down at 6,800. If we rally from here, then the top of the bullish band should be as far as this would go, 7,235. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the China 50. So it did rally and uh, we kind of found some support down here, roughly at the 14,500 up towards uh, 15,000. That is uh, an area that 
we probably will be fairly difficult to get through. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential or stabilize here, then we could see this turn around. It has been absolutely gutted the last uh, few months. And um, for most of the major tech stocks in, in, in China, uh, they have kind of bottomed. They are, their RSI is so low now that they kind of have to have at least a relief rally before uh, continuing further. Uh, this is also very uh, low, but it's not uh, as low as in many of the tech stocks. If you look at the uh, MACD, we can see that it is still uh, flat. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat as well. So did rally a bit, not significant, but the uh, question is here whether or not we manage to stabilize or we drop below this, because if we do, this will go significantly further to the downside. We need to break the 20 exponential in order to go to the 50 up here at 16,300, give or take. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.